Good morning everyone and welcome again in another lesson about the literary genre. Today we will try to explore another genre which is very popular, right, and uh, widespread uh, among the literary world as well as the artistic world, which is a drama. Of course, when we say drama, we all remember uh, the plays of uh, the famous English playwright William Shakespeare. So we need to have an idea right about uh, the, the history and the origin of uh, this art and uh, mainly this word drama and where it uh, came from. So drama in fact is uh, taken from uh, the Greek uh, verb dryam, okay, dryam, which means to act or to do or even to perform. To perform, you see here uh, the association uh, and the direct link between this genre drama and action and action, and it is the only literary genre among the other genres, okay, which is directly related to action and performance. Good. So, in fact, uh, for the history of drama and its appearance, uh, historians and scholars are divided about its origin, while most uh, historians and scholars uh, trace its origin to ancient Greece, uh, yet some uh, scholars disagree to this point and uh, they maintain that the first seed okay, of drama appeared in ancient Egypt, which is one of the cradles of civilization in the world. Okay, so they said that it first appeared in its early form in ancient Egypt. Then it was borrowed by Western merchants who took it, developed it and <coughs> documented it okay, to have uh, that form uh, we know in the Greek drama now, in the Greek drama. Uh, the Greek drama in fact uh, also in its uh, first appearance, okay, it was uh, a kind, okay, performed or evolved from those religious, okay, religious uh, rituals, right, and ceremonies which were uh, performed uh, and which were celebrated to uh, ensure the fertility of the land and the well-being of people, right, they were a kind of, you can say, worship, worship just to satisfy, right, and to worship their gods, right, their gods. Uh, it uh, involved at the time uh, in Greece, uh, no, uh, singing and dancing of a chorus. Chorus means group of singers together. Uh, nearly fifty or fifty men, right, who sing and dance together to uh, just honor their gods in honor of their of their gods, of course. Uh, also, <coughs> this uh, drama or Greek drama. Uh, evolved uh, at the beginning, all right, from uh, those uh, wordless actions, wordless actions such as uh, ritual dances and mimes. So, at the beginning, it took the form of ritual dances, okay, and mimes without words, without dialogue, all right, without uh, dialogue, all right, uh, and mimes, which uh, were uh, performed by uh, uh, dancers, uh, masked players, and even priests, and even uh, priests were involved in uh, these okay uh, plays, which were okay wordless, which were wordless and uh, mimetic, clear and uh, mimetic. Of course, especially especially when uh, the season of harvest was uh, not as expected. So men at the time uh, thought that. Okay, uh, they had some offenses, or may they have, uh, they had may offended their gods. Okay, they thought that they had offended their gods, uh, so they performed these rituals and these plays. Okay, uh, with their mimes and only gestures, right, to avoid the wrath of their gods and to seek their consent. To seek their consent. This is generally and briefly uh, the history of drama. Okay, which uh, appeared 
as most historians did, uh, say uh, in right Greek in its mature form, okay, and then it evolved to reach its form of uh, today. Of today. Now, if you want to define drama, uh, first uh, drama is uh, known for uh, a brief definition, which is the stage of art. It's called the stage of art. Like poetry, we said it is called the crown of literature. Now, drama is called the stage of art because it is directly related to the stage, right? To the stage uh, where okay, the plays are performed. So, uh, generally, we can say, but also, <coughs> drama is uh, uh, literature which is intended for performance. Intended for performance, All right? Literature or text which is intended and made for performance. Now, this text of literature can be either, by the way, uh, prose or verse. All right? It can be either prose or verse in the form of uh, prose, that has paragraphs, or in the form of poetry. Like the epics in the past, they were used, okay, as uh, texts, okay, to be acted, all right, and performed on a stage, on a stage. All right, so as you see here, drama has a very specific and unique feature, which is its direct link and association with, with action and performance. Unlike the other genres, okay, that don't require any kind of performance. So, uh, drama, we said, is the literature which is intended for performance, whether it is prose or verse, huh? verse, okay, uh, on the stage, on a stage and in front of an audience. It usually okay, requires okay, an audience to be the viewers okay, uh, of what is performed on, on the stage, on the stage. Now here, its association with, with action uh, is very uh, pertinent and very interesting uh, because, if you can say, it, 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 relates, it relates art to life art to life, art to reality, and that's why Aristotle, when he uh, first defined it, okay, he said that drama is uh, an imitation of an action. He said that drama is an imitation of an action. He means here by action, life. By action, life. All right, we have here a story, okay, uh, which is performed in front of an audience. Uh, with uh, players, okay, or uh, actors, uh, and so on. So, drama, uh, as you say here, or we can say, uh, is uh, involved with a story, okay, which is uh, acted out by characters, okay, story which is acted out by uh, characters, right, uh, and it is acted out in front of an audience. The audience here is very important, right? Uh, element in in drama. Okay, in in drama. Go. Uh, it is based mainly on three main uh, principles or elements, which are action, as we said. Second, dialogue, dialogue, and third also is the conflict. In drama, we have conflict, right? What kind of conflict? Which steers uh, the action of the play, action of uh, the play within the plot, okay? Of uh, this or that uh, play, this or that play. Good. Now, just a remark about the epic. The epic, uh, as you see here, is, if you can say, uh, a point of convergence between all the three genres. In its form, it is poetry. Right, and structure, it is poetry. In its content, it has, uh, okay, that plot, right, which uh, makes it, uh, okay, like prose. It has a plot structure like prose. From this side, it's like prose. And in terms of uh, being acted out on a stage also, it is related to drama. So the epic is really important literary type, which 
plays the role of uh, the role of uh, a point of convergence among all the other genres. All the other uh, genres. Good. Now the person who writes plays, of course, is called a playwright. It's called a playwright. Shakespeare is a playwright. Uh, also, Ben Johnson is a playwright, and so on, and so forth. Clear, and so on, and so forth. So we write here our brief summary about definition. We said drama is taken from the Greek word or verb drain, which means to act or to do, right? Also, we said that it is literature intended for performance clear on a stage and in front of an audience okay the person who writes plays is called playwright clear it requires three <coughs> or it is based on three main elements which are action dialogue and and conflict and conflict and conflict. good now there are many uh, just before we move on to the second uh, part of the lesson which is uh, types of plays or types of drama or drama some genres uh, here we would like just to uh, remember together okay uh, Shakespeare's famous saying, right, when he said that uh, all uh, the world is a stage and all uh, men and women, okay, uh, are mere players, are mere, merely players. All the world is a stage and all the men and women merely uh, players, okay. This is one of the famous quotes, okay. Uh, from Shakespeare about this staged art, which is drama, which is uh, drama. Good. Now, drama, of course, uh, like all the other genres, has its own types and subgenres. Subgenres. So, it can be uh, a comedy, a tragedy, a tragic comedy. Or also there are many other secondary types or subgenres of drama. Now let's start with the first one, which is the tragedy. Tragedy in drama, it means it's a play, it's a play, tragedy is a play which has a sad ending. A sad ending, all right, unhappy ending. And it uh, involves uh, the element of fate, destiny and fate, and also uh, the hero's flow, flow, it means a defect or uh, a weak point of weakness in his character which leads to his uh, collapse, okay, and ruin, collapse and, and ruin. So, in tragedies we have that uh, hero who, at the end, okay, due to his flow of his character, okay, uh, c c collapses, right, uh, with regard to those uh, elements which are mixed with faith, destiny, and his flaws and so on. Clear. We can here, for example, remember, mention some examples about uh, tragedies like Macbeth, Macbeth, and also Othello, both of them by William Shakespeare. Shakespeare. On the other hand, we have okay the counterpart of tragedy, which is a comedy. It's also a play which has a, a happy ending, right? Happy uh, ending. Uh, and okay, it is uh, has that sense of humor, okay, and and fun, sense of humor and and fun. Example, we have uh, the example of uh, all's well that ends well by Shakespeare, always all's well that ends well, and also the famous play of him, which is uh, as you like it, as you like it. A third subgenre of drama also is a mixture of both tragedy and comedy. That's why it's called tragic comedy. Tragic comedy. It is a combination of the elements of both tragedy and and comedy. Uh, for example, here we have uh, example of uh, 
the now uh, the merchant of uh, Venice, the merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare, right? It's a tragic comedy, right? And so on. Uh, also, we had another, you can say, secondary subgenre which is called farce. Farce. Okay. Farce is uh, a comic and a humorous play, right? Which uh, offers or introduces a kind of uh, social satire, okay? Or comments on social matters. But these comments are in the form of uh, an absurdist comments. They are absurd comments. They are uh, a kind of ridicule, right? About social matters. It is a kind of comic play on social matters, okay? But in an absurd way. In an absurd way. Here you mentioned the example of uh, the comedy of errors by Shakespeare, also a famous uh, play, the comedy of uh, errors. It's a famous play. So these are the four main okay, subgenre of, uh, of drama, tragedy, comedy, uh, tragic comedy, and farce. And farce. We have tragedy, comedy, tragic comedy, and farce. And there are also many other okay, uh, types and uh, subgenres. Uh, of course, we always remember certain names when we uh, talk about drama, like Shakespeare. But in fact, there are many other famous and prominent playwrights, right, uh, which are as important and as popular and uh, okay, famous like Shakespeare. For example, we can remember the British. Uh, and the English uh, also uh, playwrights, huh? playwrights. We have uh, Christopher Marlowe, Christopher Marlowe, who wrote the play of Doctor Faustus. Faustus, right? Also, we have uh, Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson wrote the play of Walpole. Clear, Walpole. Uh, also, there are many interesting uh, modern okay and modernist uh, irish playwrights today for example we have uh, john bernard Shaw, okay bernard Shaw, john bernard Shaw. Uh, also we have uh, samuel beckett with his famous masterpiece waiting for godot that's absurd okay play okay samuel beckett wrote this a fascinating piece of theatre which is entitled Waiting for Godot. Two characters without any plot, waiting for something to come. Okay, they are, because I say, uh, conversing about uh, something which is, uh, okay, absurd, right, uh, uh, and mysterious, like this, right. Uh, also, the French literature is rich and has a glorious, okay, uh, you can say standpoint in right in drama. We can mention uh, those famous playwrights of the French literature. We have uh, Molière, Molière. We have uh, Pierre Corneille. We have Jane Racine. Okay, and so on. So these also are very famous players that belong to the French uh, drama. French drama. Uh, drama is a very interesting art. Okay, not our literary genres. Okay, which today also is based on many, many, many uh, new and modern effects, okay, which contribute to its uh, modernity and to its uh, artistic uh, impression, okay, and contribution to the world of arts. That's why it uh, must have, okay, its own share of importance and attention, like all the other genres. So. This is the end of our uh, first lecture about drama, general introduction about its history and origin and definition and types. We thank you so much for your attention and we uh, wish the best luck till we meet you in our next okay, lecture about 
the elements of drama in details. So, see you then. Thank you.